January 6, 2023, Christmas weekday, Saint of the Day, Saint Andre Bisset. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the first letter of Saint John. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If you accept the human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life, you who have believed in the name of the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm response. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders, with the best of wit he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes, and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Alleluia, alleluia. The heavens were opened, and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed, One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. Over the past several weeks, we have read many fantastic stories surrounding Jesus' conception, birth, and infancy. We have read about an angel appearing to a young girl to tell her that she would bear a son and name him Jesus. We have heard of an angel appearing in a dream to the girl's betrothed to tell him not to be afraid. We have heard of this miraculous child's birth in a lowly manger and of visits by shepherds. We have heard of three kings who followed the stars. We have heard of three kings who f we have heard of three kings who followed the star and brought the child's seemingly odd gifts of gold, 
frankincense and myrrh. If we were to wonder who this child is about, whom had read and who he will become. If we wonder, if we were to wonder who this child is about, whom we have read and who will if we were to wonder who this child is about, whom we have read and who he will become, our answer may come in the excerpt from Mark's Gospel that we read tonight. As we listened to this reading, we witnessed the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan by John. With all the wonder surrounding Jesus' birth and the certainty that this extraordinary child has grown to be an extraordinary man. It seems strange that Jesus would choose to be baptized by John. Yet this baptism continues to help us unravel the mystery of who Jesus is. As John baptized Jesus, Mark tells us, Jesus saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, my Beloved. With you I am well pleased. At this point, if we had not already believed so, we would have known that Jesus is no ordinary person and that Jesus' acceptance of John's baptism is yet another event that heralds the dawn of the messianic era and tells us that the new world is finally to come into being. As we follow Jesus through the Gospels, the elements of wonder and awe never leave. Through many stories, we hear Jesus' challenge teach and heal people so that they and we may get a small glimmer of understanding of the tremendous love that God has for all people. Jesus is truly Emmanuel, God with us. What a precious gift God has given us in Jesus. If that were not enough, God sent the Son, not only to live with us, but to endure suffering and death so that God might welcome us into eternal life, into dwelling with God forever in love. If we view Jesus' baptism with the same measure of wonder and awe with which we approach the Nativity, we cannot help but be amazed and humbled by the magnanimous love of God for us. How very lucky we are. This love which echoes through the ages is made known to us through our own baptism. Through baptism we are born into the wonder and mystery of God, set free from our tendency towards sin and isolation, and welcomed into a community of believers. Through baptism, we can rejoice in the many gifts that God gives to us and come to know the supreme love that surrounds us. These gifts stretch beyond the bounds of this life and lead us into eternal life, back to our home with God. This call to live in God's love through baptism does not end at the moment that we receive the sacrament but extends beyond that moment and impels us to receive others as Christ would receive them and so build up the community of believers. It is our responsibility to share the love that we have received. The waters of baptism are the waters that change the face of our world. Baptism restores us into right relationship with God and is the threshold of even greater things to come. This evening, as we remember the baptism of Jesus, let us gratefully celebrate the great gift of God's love to us and to our world by reaching out to others and helping them come to know Emmanuel.
God is for us. God is with us. God is in us. How very blessed we are.